in the Heart of the Word, Summer Special Series, your 2023 favorites, running from July 25th to July 31st of 2023. Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SCTJM, on the daily readings from the Holy Mass. Sunday of the 17th week of Ordinary Time, featuring St. Francis of Sales, NSC, France. God bless you, dear family. Today in the Heart of the Word, on Tuesday of Holy Week, we're in the city of Annecy, France, at the Basilica of the Visitation, where the holy founders of the Visitation Order are buried, St. Francis de Sales and St. Jane de Chantel. The readings from the Gospel this week focus on the response of the human heart to Jesus, Peter, Judas, and the anointing of Jesus in Bethany. Peter is overconfident and denies Jesus. Judas betrays Jesus but the greatest tragedy is that because of his pride, he despairs in the mercy of Christ. Jesus had also washed his feet. Jesus was waiting for him so that he too could be forgiven. Finally, the tenderness of the anointing in Bethany reminds us of the holy and simple souls who faithfully accompany the Lord in his suffering and who pray before his Eucharistic heart with love and devotion. The Basilica behind me is a perpetual memorial of what love can do in the human heart. Of all the gifts and wisdom that St. Francis de Sales had received from the Lord, perhaps most visible was the integrity of his humanity. He is called the gentle doctor by the church and was known for his profound charity. The refinement of his manners, his patience as a confessor and spiritual director, and the very deliberate but hidden manner with which he celebrated the Holy Mass. He would simply disappear into the holy mysteries so that it was only Christ who would speak. In his own path of holiness, he had seven principles that structured his daily life, principles that are relevant for us today. First, he began the day by preparing his heart for the work, the persons, and activities in his schedule. He would ask for the grace of God to guide him. Second, at midday, he would visit the Blessed Sacrament for a time of prayer with the heart and would perform a particular examination of conscience, asking for divine light, making an act of repentance, and then beginning the day again. Third, he would spend 30 minutes in silent meditation each day on the Bible or the writings of the saints, seeking to live in communion with the heart of Jesus. Fourth, he would pray the rosary daily, a promise he made as a young man which he fulfilled his whole life, desiring to live holding Our Lady's hand. Fifth, to treat others in a gentle but moderate way, not seeking their attention and not desiring that they would seek his. Sixth, to practice the presence of God throughout the day, to remember that God always keeps us in his merciful gaze. And seventh, finishing the day with an examination of conscience asking for the forgiveness of his sins and for the light of the Holy Spirit to amend his life. This Holy Week, perhaps we could seek to learn from this great saint in these seven practices of a spirituality of the heart for which St. Francis ultimately will be made a doctor of the church. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. The love of the heart of Jesus is compassionate and merciful. It is a love that forgives and forgets. It is a love that enters into the very depths of the abyss to redeem the sinner. It is a love that makes all things new. Mary, Mother of the Sacred Heart, pray for us. St. Francis de Sales, pray for us. St. Jane de Chantal, pray for us. St. Margaret Mary, pray for us. All for the heart of Jesus through the heart of Mary.